Hey guys, yeah, welcome back to another video. I've just bought the Gigabyte uh, EVGA 970, so I thought I'd do a little bit of a review on it. I'm not really going to do an unboxing or stuff like that, because I've already pretty in my system. As what you can see here. The uh, reason I've got a light on my phone is because so you can see inside my computer. Um, if you're new to the channel, I will put all the specs to my PC in the description. And that's just a custom water loop there, if you're new. All, the, all my subscribers who were... Uh, being around, no, um, no, my system off my heart. Now, um, oh, I'm gonna play GTA 5 and which is free. Now, um, the video, the gameplay is gonna look absolutely crap, and reason for that is the video editing software what I use is absolutely awful and it doesn't like rendering properly in HD. I don't know why, I'm, I'm still trying to work that out. And um, I'm only pushing 50 frames per second is because, and the reason for that is because I am playing on a TV, uh, on my TV monitor, and this can only push 50 frames per second. It, it does sometimes push up to like 60, but it causes tears in screen and stuff like that. Uh, I've got a PC monitor and it's like 65 frames per second, but I like watching movies. So um, I do it on my TV. So the max this TV can actually push is 50 frames per second. After that, I start getting tearing. And um, like I said, the videos, the gameplay is going to look a little bit awful because of my video or editing software. And in my Witcher 3, um, I was stating this now because I made a mistake on it. In Witcher 3, I turned around and said um, it was killing me 970. And what I actually meant in that, I, it was killing my 770 of that game. But um, you'll know what I mean when you, when you get to it. But I'm going to load up some bench, get, uh, load up some games now and show you some benchmarks. So I shall be back in a second. Hey guys, yeah, welcome back. And now we're playing some GTA 5. And um, as what you can see on the screen, uh, we are online as well. It's running, at, the GPU is running at 40 degrees and I'm getting 58 frames a second, which for TV can only push 50, so I'm actually quite surprised about that. The GPU usage is at 40, it offers around 45 to 50 uh, percent usage. And the memory use is 30, uh, 3.1 uh, gigabyte 3100 megabytes and fan speed claw clock and all that and this is on the I know this isn't gonna look very high settings because my video editing software is absolutely crap so it's gonna actually look pretty horrible in the video editing software but this is with all the settings on high uh, so doing really good to be honest with you and we will go to, um, we'll probably run NASCAR as well, because um, I just bought NASCAR Racing, if you, uh, NASCAR 15 as well. So we'll jump on that in a second, and I'll show you some settings on that if you're interested in that. And it runs this game really smooth. I get a little bit of tear in the screen every now and again, because my TV's, maximum my TV's allowed to run to like 50 frames per second. But anything higher than that, I get a few tears every now and again. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna end the uh, end this one here, and we're gonna jump onto um, NASCAR, and I'll show you what I get on NASCAR 15. And I might chuck uh, Witcher 3 in there as well. But, um, yeah, back in a second. Hey guys, yeah, welcome back. This is Witcher 3, and um, this is normally a very intense game for graphics card because it will actually kill my 970 if you look at the set if you look at it now i'm getting uh the temperatures of us around 47 48 uh i get a nice 50 frames per second and it only uses the um what is it 1200 megabytes out of the four gigabyte the fan speed's pretty low the core clock's a little bit high memory clock's a little bit high but um i'm just going to quickly move uh, sorry um, load up the graphics and I'll show you what I'm playing on this and yet again as I'll have to move this to the side now can see the graphics um, yet again there's no need for me to run it on ultra because my TV will not be able to handle it but I'm running everything on high and um, it's managing really good and to say that it's the 970 and this is around the 250 pound and the 980 is um 480 pound to be honest with you 
I'd rather get a 970 and I'd recommend you guys to get a 970 instead because it's just absolutely loving it and every game I've played on so far, I, I were going to do NASCAR and show you that but um, I it won't let me record, uh, sorry it won't let me bring up the afterburner on um, NASCAR to show you the afterburner so if you guys are after a graphics card I'd seriously recommend getting a 970 even you could even if you wanted is to get two 970s for the same price of 1980 and it's absolutely brilliant it's like i get no tears in the screen whatsoever only tears i would probably get is on the tv itself but there's no tears in the game and it's just an absolute beast of a car and my tv can only push 50 frames it on gta it does get a little bit more but my TV can only push 50 frames per second and it's at 50 frames every time and it never drops even when I'm loading up new train and stuff like that. So I would seriously recommend people getting a 970. It's up to you which 970 you get. I just got the EVGA one. So um, yeah guys, thank you for watching. Hope you've this has helped you made your mind up if you're after a new graphics card and stuff like that. Yeah guys, thank you for watching and peace. Forever